What is going on everybody, Luke here. Today I'm going to be talking about The Hive. Although I think I'm zoomed in at the wrong... It's really hard to see that, I just noticed. Oh well, we don't... I'm not going to worry too much. Alright, The Hive. So what is The Hive? Why am I talking about it? Well, I don't know if you know, but many people will know who Natalie Cromie is. I used to do Elite uh, Sellers Academy with her for about three years, where we obviously did like private, in a sense, group coaching based on different you know aspects of selling on Amazon I would bring my own side to it and she would bring her own side to it in terms of the things we are doing within our Amazon business to improve it and take it to the next level more recently in terms of maybe this year at some point I can't remember exactly when maybe March April Natalie and a couple of other people of course you may you may know who they are we just go down here Johnny Smith and Matthew Wright obviously Natalie as well uh, have set up another thing so we ended that partnership Elite Sellers Academy and she moved on to the Hive which is what they called it and ultimately the Hive is a little bit different than what Elite Sellers Academy was but also some similarities and so that's why I'm really in at a position to be able to uh, discuss this because I was part of that previous community that previous uh, you know coaching um, group and therefore I know the kind of value that this can give people and provide to them in terms of not only improving their Amazon business, but taking their business to the next level ahead of the competition, right? So, you know, most people, let's start off with this. Most people probably are doing, you know, on an arbitrage wholesale, maybe some retail arbitrage on the side, you know, all that kind of thing, maybe a bit of eBay, um, you know, with Amazon. But realistically, now that I've been getting into this a hell of a lot myself, it is literally the, the best, um, tuition let's move my screen a little bit the best sort of tuition slash coaching slash mentoring slash content it's pretty much everything rolled into one um like thick software well the software as well that i'm not even going to talk about until the end but the best provider for anything related to amazon where you're looking to do where you basically have been in the online arbitrage game you've been in the wholesale and maybe you still are like you, you don't have to transition away from that and follow everything that they say but it's good to layer up your business because there's one thing i always used to discuss was layering your business with different strategies so that you don't rely on just one thing okay and this is really good what natalie is teaching in this training that because i can relate to it a lot easier than the uh, sort of selling in the in europe and stuff like that which is also covered but i'm obviously focusing on what i know in terms of what is the easiest to do and what is the best in terms of growing your business and yes there is tons of additional content not related to what i'm talking about in the hive and that will be continue to be released through the hive but the main thing is that creating your own opportunities and bundles is literally one of the greatest things that you're able to do on amazon so i'll give you a very simple example this is literally it. a lot of people do wholesale on an arbitrage they'll be list, or listing on listings that are already on amazon they exist already there's competition you're making a profit you're trying to sell volume you're doing whatever your strategy is on amazon right not to say you have to remove that and completely step away from that you don't you need to layer it and as amazon evolves and changes and competition changes and you know, prices change and all that kind of thing you have to be resilient but also adaptive to the environment so by adding in bundles and for me i've actually found it so not easy but so uh easy to transition so not easy to do but easy to understand to tr to do the transition because we've come most of us from the on an arbitrage the wholesale you know the ra we come from that environment right rather than like a private label environment and many people think oh but if you're creating your own listings and you're doing some ppc and you know you're doing all this isn't that like private label i don't really know anything about it well ultimately a lot of it depending on where you start because there's many levels to the, the bundles it is very easy to get into it so a very simple example is that you know you could call ra online arbitrage level one pretty straightforward to do no you know you buy it from a wholesale sorry a retailer you're buying it um, at a retail store and then you're selling it on the listing that exists and that's it you know the, the barriers to entry is relatively low although there is some knowledge and understanding you know how to read a listing understanding if it sells the profits so on but not huge in terms of the barrier to entry then you may have wholesale wholesale is a little bit more difficult not all wholesalers are profitable some of them are really expensive compared to retailers 
so, you know and and so you having to let and that could be like a level two a wholesaler and then level three could be moving on to very simple bundles very similar to online arbitrage very similar to the products you're selling through wholesale but they are a little bit more advanced because you are creating those listings yeah but the ultimate underlying aspect of it is the same yeah you know for example i'm this is going to be absolutely probably very dirty but i'm basically getting i'm selling these mugs on our way like a two pack and it comes in a little box and i'm getting it from tesco's or something and they sell you know i can make two power profit or something let's make it up right what am i doing well i'm creating my own listing and there's lots of different ways in terms of the the technicals behind it you can create your own brand you can do non-brand you basically can create your own urb which is unregistered brand and then you can you can also create a registered brand which is like through trademark basically you can like level it up later you don't have to do it right away you can level it up later um and then you can start creating multiple brands if you want you know if, for example if you're selling under one category you might keep one brand but if you're selling under multiple categories you might want to change have multiple names basically for your brand those kind of things are more like you know you don't need to worry about them too much as the the actual actions of what you're doing is the important part as in creating those listings and literally putting this together potentially with some I don't know if you really want to this is, I wouldn't suggest this but you know whatever this the two pack of these that you would sell you go ahead and put it together with some sort of coffee actual coffee maybe with a spoon maybe with some fancy spoon I don't know like whatever you want that's just a really basic uh, example but that is pretty much what you're doing so it's still pretty much OA right or it's still pretty much wholesale like for me I'm still sourcing a lot of the products from retailers from wholesalers because a lot of what goes into these bundles is the same as OA it's just there's an addition potential additions to it yeah you know you could have you might sell honey on Amazon and grocery or something and you go ahead and go ahead and add a honey spoon or a specific spatula or maybe some sort of decanter that you're getting you know well I mean it's not hard to find places where they will sell spoons even if it's not a basic spoon that you know and then maybe it's some sort of decanter so that you can have it in a nice honey jar a glass honey jar or something right so but ultimately the product itself is you know you, you can have it as <clears throat> what is the main thing that you're trying to sell is it the honey or is it the additions what you so in theory for example if you had very expensive decanter with a very expensive spoon the value of that in terms of what people are like, like a little gift set it isn't necessarily the honey that's in the bundle that's what people are going to be buying it's actually the set the decanter and all that or you could have it the other way around where the primary item is the honey so you, could, you know you can decide like how you want to angle the listing uh, what who you trying to um, appeal to for example you could put something very cheap um, with the product I'll give you an example of something I made so this is how I went about it I saw on Amazon that I was selling a great product marshmallows obviously not just generic marshmallows but a specific brand of marshmallows and definitely over Q4 and stuff like that winter time it was selling really well and I thought wow you know that, that's just get playing with creating some listings under my brand so I literally just bought you know maybe I think uh, five listings worth five ASINs worth of this product with uh, skewers in terms of like uh, camping skewers for you know campfires they were very cheap the actual skewers themselves the product the marshmallow product was more expensive so it wasn't like a cheap one it was quite a nice one nothing crazy it wasn't it was like five pounds or something but the skewers themselves were like one pound each or 80 90p I forget exactly what they were so they were they weren't wooden sticks but you know they weren't fancy skewers expensive ones and I basically bundled it up with these skewers so it was more it was aimed towards the grocery in terms of people looking for marshmallows but they could also see the skewers and go you know what that's a cool idea even if we do it in our garden you don't have to go camping right it's, you don't have to do the you know it's accessible for everybody it's not like it's a very specific niche where you have to go fishing to use it or you have to go camping to use it you can do it in your garden you can do it on the barbecue many people that have gardens will have a barbecue right you don't necessarily obviously that could be aimed at summer but people might want to do that over winter with their barbecue or they could they might have a fire pit or they might even have like an open fire in their gar garden in their lounge you get, you get what I mean like a little log, log thing <laughs> log, log thing like I don't even know what they called log fire log stove whatever uh, and they can just do it over that and it's just a nice you know it's a meaning it's not like very niche because very niche obviously means that you're 
target audience is reduced. And in terms of doing that, maybe you have to be a bit more uh, experienced with uh, PPC, driving traffic to it. So because obviously we don't want to jump ahead, we come from the OA and wholesale game. We don't want to go, you know, into the, the, ex, the sort of ex, extreme niche because you could do that and you could become the best seller in that niche, right? But we, like me, at the beginning, keeping it nice and simple. So I, made, you know, I didn't I didn't faff over it. I didn't spend ages. It's a very simple bundle option three. There's different levels ultimately. So you've got bundle option three. There was two, but people are sort of saying stay away from them uh, because Amazon changing policies. But the three would be, you know, basically bundling set of like an OA product, um, wholesale product with something else. Like for example, these skewers that I mentioned. And then level four and then level five. And then as you go up the levels, it, it gets a little bit more towards private label, but also not. So you might get like the higher levels, you might start putting your brand um, like logo on it. Uh, or you might be sending it in a branded box, you see? So the products themselves aren't really like manufactured by you or anything. You know, it could be like a very nice honey set. Because the reason I'm using honey is because Natalie always uses a honey um, as an example, but you could basically create honey sets with like little, you know, maybe little glass you know, items in it. No direct honey involved, which you know you can st you could always add. There's, there's no reason that you couldn't. But that's to say it was a general glass honey decanter set with spoons, like a nice set, right? These products maybe not, aren't branded, but you can brand them yourself. Now you don't even have to brand the product. You don't have to go, you know, because imagine trying to brand a glass object, right? It's going to be sort of difficult. And I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even go that far. Like I'm sure you can, but I wouldn't even do that. Um, but I would just brand the box. I'd make it nice. I'd make, I'd make the brand name focused around, let's say I want to do a lot of honey products. I found like I've done lots of analysis and I really think that's a good area to go in. Maybe I've had some success around some of my earlier bundles are, like that was related to honey and honey, honey sets and honey itself. And I want to go up the level with it within that direction because I've got some traction on it on the lower levels, the lower bundle options. And I want to now refine that and make it a little bit more uh, of an improved product because you know, the ultimate goal here could be that you've got many le levels. You've got your OA and the wholesale where you're focusing on the top 50 to 100 products. Maybe you expand that over Q4. Then you've got bundle option three, just like those skewers I mentioned with the marshmallows. You've got an, uh, an array. Is that the right word? A range of different, pro completely different products. Let's say you're focusing grocery, beauty, whatever it is, all completely different to each other. Maybe you have a couple of similarity products and all that if they're well, doing well. And of course, you know you want to maximize your profits and everything. And then once you've got the second, that second layer, which is like the simple, more simpler bundles, you then add another layer where you've got branded boxes. You've, you know, but you're still using some sort of generic stuff, like maybe some general honey stuff or. Um, general products but you're levering it up with a bit of branding a little bit of nice boxing and then you can basically step 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 to the point where you've got all these different layers bringing you income but the gold here is is that obviously at the lower levels the profits are less because there's more competition lower sorry higher barriers to entry it's sorry that's completely wrong lower barriers to entry at the lower levels because it's easier to do therefore more people do it therefore profits are lower as you step up and it takes a little bit more effort and it's a little bit more specialized and you know refined in terms of like i've got skewers you know, a good example i've got those skewers with the marshmallows but people could find those skewers and the marshmallows you might be able to find the marshmallows but not the skewers okay but where do you find the skewers well i've bought them from somewhere so they clearly exist somewhere right and it's not just you know obviously it, the difficulty of finding that is a lot harder than going what's this two pack of tetley Okay, two pack of tetley or not, you know, it's very easy to find. As you, and as you step up as well, you get more protection. Because as you get start doing brand registry and trademarking and stuff like that, and you could even do stuff to do with, related to transparency labels, where on a listing, if you've got brand registry and it's got a GTIN, which would be all under your brand because you're now creating these brands or a brand, you can then get a transparency, which just adds that extra layer of security. It basically means that if any basically it won't allow anyone to send in i forget exactly how it works either it won't allow them to send it in or it, it will allow them to send in stock under your listing but it just will never get booked in to sell because when they scan that product at amazon it doesn't have your transparency labels on which are specific to your account so you can get them through your amazon account or the brand registry side of the account um, and if it doesn't have it on it won't actually book in to sell 
so you can protect like protect yourself with these transparency labels as well if you really want now obviously you can decide how much you want to do in terms of do you want that or not but for me it's take it one step at a time level it up level it up now i'm not going to go you know into much more because i'll I'll be here forever because i can just talk forever as natalie will know um but you know you can go ahead onto their website and actually look yourself there's not i'll I'll leave a link below so you can see i think you get 50 percent off the first month and worst case if you really don't like it cancel after the first month okay you know if you really don't like it because you don't know until you try and i'm going to show you an example right of um i'm not going to really show you any of that you can look yourself but it is 99 pound plus vat a month so most people are vat registered by now if they're getting to this point not all but you know i say the majority so it's 99 pound a month they might think well maybe it's a bit too much is that too much money you know what's, I, I don't know if i'm ready for that there i don't really know if i'm up for that commitment well what i'll do is i'll simply jump over to one one product in three months so i basically found one product on syllable well i typed it in syllable and this is just one i'm going to hide the product obviously but you can see here is that this is one product i've select i selected the range of may june and july so a three month block of, of time um just so you can kind of get a feel for it this is one product i created and this is a very simple product it's not like got box branding or any of that kind of stuff it's a very you know because i'm as as as, as i'm going through this i'm do- i'm going to document it but i also don't want to give away too much information in terms of using the hive information and giving it away for free because they you know sensitive in terms of like people are paying for that information so i'm still going to share my journey with it all and i'll give some tidbits of information but i'm also not going to tell everyone how to do it ultimately um but this is like a really simple bundle option three but oh simple but you know simple enough bundle option and you can see here in three months uh, it's got about two grand of sales 151 units uh, ad spend is actually only 1007 which is really low um i would have expected this to actually have been a lot more in ad spend um but it wasn't so that that shows that it's getting organic sales and obviously if i look in may june and july you'll probably see at the when the listing sort of started or it, it first came into existence the ad spend was probably higher um and as it then bought, uh, got traction in terms of the ranking and everything it ended up taking less uh, ad spend. I don't know, I've not looked into it, but relatively it's quite low for actually for what uh, you would expect. Because w- with, with things like this, you have to add some PPC on to get the product ranks and stuff. But again, all of that's covered in the high training. Like there's literally tons of videos um, guiding you step by step through the, all the steps that you need uh, in terms of whichever bundle you're choosing and how to then go about do that, what you need to look up for, everything like that. So I wouldn't even worry. So some of the, even for me, I've been doing this pretty much the whole year. Um, even some of the more extreme um, or advanced, let's say, bundle options, I've not really even delved into yet because I'm trying to maximize what I can with what I know. So like all the products that I know sell really well over Q4, for example, not even come yet. I'm already planning my bundle options based on that. I know what, I can look at my historical uh, data on Sellerboard over the Q4 periods for five, six years, I can see what sells really well. I can then start to generate and write down ideas for creating options for that. And what am I gonna do? Come September, I'll, I'll start to drip feed in a handful of um, of those products. If I can get hold of the products, of course, if they're Q4 related, depends where the retailer or wholesaler actually has that range yet. But I'll start as early as I can, just drip feed them in, build a bit of traction, get some rankings. And then by Q4, it's pretty much the same OA products as before, that I've sold before, but I'm going to have a lot more uh, exclusivity on those listings, which should generate higher profits, but hopefully the same sales. Or even if it's a little bit less in sales, because the profit's two, three times, you know, let's say the profit's three times what you were making away, you could sell 50% less units, but make way more profit on that region. And that's also great for cash flow, because in Q4, you can burn through your cash flow like, I wanted to make a better click, there we go, better click than that. Um, You can both do cash for like that Uh, and bundle options will help you because it actually requires you to have less cash flow. Well, I mean, not less cash flow. You don't want less, but you could have less and it won't impact them as much because they because you don't need to sell as many. Now, of course, the ideal world, you would sell as many as possible. But in terms of knowing you get two, three times your profits, you don't need to worry. You can see here in this product here, like this product here, the ROI is 223%. Okay. So just to give you an idea, 
you could spend a thousand and on on stock and you could do two and two thousand how does that work spend two thousand two hundred yeah i know i'm not i'm not intelligent i gave up like, I basically i was horrible at maths and i literally gave up um it better be 2,238 pounds seven uh, times time I hate this is horrible it's embarrassing definitely definitely not 220,000 yeah so it's just plus two uh, 1,000 pounds of stock 223 percent oh so you would gain the ROI would be 200 so that means you actually gain 2,230 pounds yeah 100 percent would be double the money and uh, 200 yes yeah, so you would have that plus the initial investment yeah so you basically make £2,223 profit. It, obviously, this is a three-month period. Um, so yeah, you can you can kind of get the feel for this. And this is just over one product. And I've created many products. Obviously, if you're going to start doing this, you're probably not going to create one. You may still start with 10 or 15. But before you know it, it will basically pay you for the... That's the end. Obviously, that's what I was trying to get. It's going to pay for £99 a month. So yeah, the first month... Maybe you don't cover that £99 because you're just getting started, you're laying the content. But then within, let's say, three months, it will be, I wouldn't say it's impossible because you can never say that, but it's almost impossible if you don't take the action to not make, not to cover on a handful, literally on one product selling one every couple of days, a £4, £5 profit, that would cover pretty much your... I don't, I don't want to do the calculations because I can't be bothered, but that would basically cover your monthly subscription for the Hive. Just, just, and, and this isn't even a good seller. Like you know, these kind of, you have what you'll have, what you'll find out is that you'll find out that over time, once the product starts to rank and get you get a feel for how many it sells, you are, it was different products will start to split out. Meaning you've got the higher volume products that sell more, then you've got the ones that maybe sell one a day, and it just ticks over nicely, so you, you can manage the stock better. Um, and then obviously the ones that might sell one every couple of days, but because the profit's good, why not keep selling it? That's the thing. You can add these in. So all those products for OA that you that might sell one every couple of days, and you're usually thinking, what's the point selling this product? The profit's just yeah, you know, the profit I'm making on this over a month, selling it ten a month, it's not. It's just not worth it. I mean, going through the effort. But for these kind of products, when you create bundles, it is because you're making five pound profit. Well, five pound profit, even if it sells ten a month. If you have 50 of those listings like that, they become, it starts to add up, right? And obviously, you're not just got those. You want to also have the ones that sell one a day. And then you want to have ones that sell, I don't know, three a day. Maybe you've got like the gems at the very top, which sell like five to ten a day, which, you know, you don't necessarily know when you're like going about creating these listings and you know, implementing everything. But over a couple of months, let's say three month period, you get a feel for the sales. And what you know, maybe if it's, if it's a Q4 specific product, or it's not, but it can be, you start to see that that traction goes mental over Q4 or in the build-up, September time onwards, and you can start to have different layers. Of course, if you've got the cash flow, still do OA over Q4, still do OA in general, but just focus on a lot more of a refined uh, batch of products because you're looking for the best ones in OA because you don't need now to get profits from all those other things that are really turning over a lot but you're doing it because you want to find enough you, you, it's better to make money than no money but with this now you have a lot more of a of a balance or, or you know a chilled sort of in, um, environment I guess you could say because you understand a lot of how it's all going on and the main another main point I was going to say is that because a lot of these products will be either just you as a seller or maybe there is other sellers on it it depends if you've got a trademarked registered brand and it depends what level of branding and all that kind of thing you've got and all that you know stuff people could jump on that listing but the more detailed and specific you make it it just reduces the possibility like even on some of mine i've had merchant fulfill jump on and obviously it was like half the price they sold it and i thought how you know i just thought fair enough it's a bit weird but i mean i'm still new to this so i haven't really seen that before uh, but they sold out and didn't come back. So I don't really know what happened there. But, you know, these things are going to happen. But if you are building up your brand or listings, even if you're not going to keep them long term, because eventually a year down the line, you've taken, you know, you start to step up this bundle list in terms of, you know, you might do OA and wholesale now. You might do bundle options threes now. You might do all that. But as you start to step up and, and, go and venture into the, the sort of more technical 
bundle options which generate more profits and are better and they actually start to create value in terms of for your business in terms of a brand creation side of things in terms of you could sell a brand in the future it has re uh, retained value i guess you'll call it or residual value in the brand um but you could you could then just get rid of oa and wholesale completely if you wanted because you've now you've over i always say overridden but it doesn't make sense I, you've override rided overridden whichever one it is it's pretty neither you've overridden it let me use that one that's cool you, you've overridden it in terms of bundle option threes that is now what your oa is and your wholesale as in that's now your your new little bottom and then you're also doing fours fives and you know venturing up into those things and creating different brands with different things and obviously you don't have you, you could do it all right if you've got enough cash flow but it's more about focusing on what is building not only wealth potentially in terms of a business value perspective in terms of if you have brands you could sell them in the future so that has value not just the sales that you get like oh it's just the sale your account itself hasn't really got value it's just you know an account yeah maybe there's a little bit of value if you've got on gatings and stuff like that but not really definitely with the new uh payment thing where older accounts now that have the inst well, 24 hour slash instant disbursement thing that's been going on they've now been changed and there's a reserve the fact that there's almost no value if you're just doing OA in the actual account so it's just the, it's just the products that you're selling and there's no if you stop buying them there's no value at all but with a brand people could buy that businesses could buy that and you can actually sell brands off individually you don't actually even have to sell your whole Amazon account if you've got multiple brands. So you've got value generation that way, depending on what you're doing in the future. You know, If you even want to go step up the ladder, maybe you're happy creating bundle option threes and fours with some OA thrown in you know, into the mix in Q4, whatever you're, you know, whatever floats your boat, basically. Um, and yeah, so I could go on forever. I'm not going to go on forever, Luke, because it's going to be a very long video. It's about 30 minutes long already, so it's the perfect time. But you can see one listing here pretty much will pay how much profit have I made on this? 838. That's, is that eight? Oh, I'm not, you know what? I, don't even, I, I give responsibility to calculations to my phone forever now. I've never actually. Let's see how many months this is. You divide by what's it? 99 quid? Yeah. So you get. Oh, I should have actually worked that out myself, but I didn't want it. About uh, nine, eight and a half months. So in three months. I generated enough profit on this one product for eight let's say eight months but eight months of the hive so you know you work that out you're basically getting you're paying for the difference well sorry you're not paying for the difference but the profit is giving you far more than what you're actually spending so in theory it's paying you that's actually what it's doing you're signing up to something and then you're generating more profit which is paying for that thing you signed up and then you've got that profit in the, on the side to put in your back pocket so anyway enough of me and revealing to the world how bad at maths i am so i'm going to leave it there i'll leave a link in the description below i believe it's 50 percent off the first month uh but I'll, I'll put i'll detail it out below if it's different to that um and yeah if you really don't like it if it's not for you which could happen then feel free to um you know cancel and leave and one thing i'll just you know add on to the end is that eventually at some point very soon they are going to be bringing out um, a, where is it, <sighs> B-Stock software, which is going to go alongside uh, the content. So not only are you getting the content that I've, all, I've been discussing now, you also get tons more content because if you think about it, it's not just Nat Natalie doing the training. You've got Johnny and you've got Matthew. Johnny, like, yeah, he's a top 250 Amazon seller, selling thousands of listings uh cool guy matt again cool guy he has basically they all have slightly different uh directions in terms of what they're doing and so, and so they're all bringing a little bit of everything to, from what they do in their business and they're complementing each other to cater to everyone's needs but obviously i'm focusing on the bundle creation with natalie because i found it to be a very very seamlessly easy process to transition from the more oa and wholesale sort of landscape through to these bundles because in a way as you step up slowly it's very similar it's just the only difference is the creation of listings which actually is very simple you know in terms of its basic elements it is simple yes there's like a little bit of technicals but i mean 
if you've been if you've lived in life when have you ever had to do a little bit technical like even my nan setting up a hsbc bank account on an app that's technical but i mean she's done it right and she's 80 so you know if she can do it you can do it <laughs> really weird thing that i just came up with the analogy but all good and the b stock is going to actually be um a software and once it's released it's going to basically help you manage stock flows so it is going to basically real-time connect with an api to the amazon seller central dashboard in terms of your inventory and it is going to then be able to track and figure out how much stock you need and as and when you need to restock it plus lots of other automations that are going to be included in it but i'm just giving a rough overview it's definitely something i'm going to be using when it is released because it's going to help make sure that you're not um overstocking or understocking products it's just going to help really kind of refine down that process on an automation level uh, rather than being it more manual which i find definitely now is a more manual role that i have to, not myself necessarily but my virtual assistant uh, and so obviously getting that automation imagine like repricing not being automated you know imagine like the kind of annoyance in terms of not maximizing profits it, it will be like that but just with your stock obviously that will improve stuff like cash flow reducing long-term storage fees all that kind of mumbo jumbo um but i'm gonna leave it there so link in the description below if you want to sign up 50 percent off the first month i believe uh, otherwise i will check um write it and advise if it's different but enough from me hope you liked it uh enjoyed it um and i've given you enough uh, impetus to show you why you should be joining so see you later guys